as was introduced before, the yeah, working the ACT, which is uh, the biggest, oldest human rights organization in Israel for over 40 years. And uh, one of the really big challenges that we've been uh, trying to deal with in the last few years is exactly the same challenge that uh, we find our friends in the uh, Inclo and other places are dealing with in the last few years. Uh, inside this shrinking democratic space, the attack against uh, NGOs and activists and, uh, you know, trying to see what, what to do in order to uh, still work, be effective and do our stuff in the best way in these circumstances. <coughs> um, as I said, uh, I don't know, maybe many people don't know, or maybe they do, that uh, we're suffering from the same kind of trends in Israel, populist uh, trends, and in Israel it's even more complicated because it's connected to the Arab-Israeli conflict and to security issues, and of course now we have also uh, migrants, and uh, uh, in Israel the migrants is another issue of uh, not being Jewish, and. Uh, <laughs> All these uh, things are very, very uh, complicated issues in Israel. So, um, uh, on top of uh, nationalistic things, you have also these things, and then straight away it's very, very easy for the uh, people of Israel to see anyone defending these issues as uh, traitors, as uh, it's even worse than, uh, I mean, I remember as so it's saying that uh, people came out to demonstrate against uh, harming human rights or activists or whatever in Israel, there will never be such a thing. People hate the human rights organization in an extreme way. So we also have to deal with this. It's a very, very extreme, extreme situation. Now, uh, um, uh, very right-wing groups that are working in Israel, uh, just a uh, give you an example of what happened in the last week. We had a case in the court. And they came, these people, I, I also go to the parliament about and uh, to different uh, sessions that uh, filming soldiers in the occupied territories by, um, by anyone in the intent to demoralize the soldiers, whatever that means, <laughs> it would be like a criminal offense and it would be five years in jail, okay? Uh, and this is just an example, maybe it won't pass, of course the Justice Ministry and Attorney General, they oppose this, but part of this populist thing is that uh, the government doesn't care what the Attorney General the, the, or the Justice Ministry or the High Court says anymore. Um, for instance, another example, uh, and these are examples that have to do with the work that uh, human rights and activists do, yes? Taking pictures in the territories of what's going on. Another example is um, we have a, a bill to do with the um, boycotting of Israel, which was uh, passed a few years ago, and um, the whoever boycotts you could uh, have like a tort case against him and get damages for this boycotting. It hasn't been news since it was. Uh, since the bill passed, because it's very hard uh, for people to prove this, yes? But when it, when after the court, after this bill passed, uh, our organization and another few human rights organizations, we petitioned against it to say that it's hurting freedom of speech. And they did a special uh, court with nine judges, like a, uh, I don't know how you say it in English, like a, a special, uh, uh, thing with nine judges or the eleven judges of the High Court in Israel, and all nine judges, including um, um, how do you say, um, like the right wing, the conservative judges, said that the specific clause was uh, not constitutional, and they they uh, cancelled it. And so now, the, this was like three years ago. And now, last week, the members of Knesset, they wrote a bill, like a private bill in Israel, and to, uh, to again, have this specific uh, clause, they are uh, going to uh, legislate it again. This specific clause that the High Court, nine judges, uh, all of them together said that it was not constitutional. And I was sitting in this uh, meeting in the Knesset, in our parliament, and uh, 
the Attorney General was there saying that it's impossible to do it. The legal advisor of the parliament was sitting there and saying it's impossible to do it. And they were not, it was like air to them. They were just ignoring him or whatever. And uh, they are going to pass this bill. I mean, there's one thing that's very, very, very important to say. Maybe sometimes there, and this is even just two examples for the last week. Yes, we have this happening all the time, all different examples. And sometimes these things pass, sometimes they don't pass. But what's bothering us as human rights activists um, is the effect of these things, even if they don't pass, is it's catastrophic because it changes the whole discourse of everybody regarding what is human rights, what is democracy, what is the, the, the uh, job of the court in a democratic state, etc., etc. And these are things that uh, will save the people, and for, I think for years, it's damaged for years and years and years. Uh, in this discussion, for instance, I'm supposed to finish, but I have so much uh, more I wanted to, this is just a little thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to say, in this discussion in the parliament last week, I uh, started to explain when I, get, when I was speaking, that I wanted to say democracy is not, uh, you know, what the majority decides and that's it, but I, I didn't even finish my sentence and they were all, the, all the members of Nessa were starting to say, yes, democracy is the rule of the majority and the majority, it can't be that the high court will tell us what to do. We were picked uh, by the people and we would decide, you know, this kind of talk. And it's not like a one thing. This, the government has been working on this discourse for maybe 10 years now. And people are already starting to, which they have new concepts of what democracy, of what human rights is. And uh, this is, a, I think, one of our biggest challenges as human rights and activists and stuff, how to deal with it. Uh, I don't know, I don't, maybe I don't have time, but the other half of what is the other part of what I wanted to say is at least how we are dealing uh, with it. I made like a, a points to give you examples of how we're trying to deal with this. So maybe, maybe uh, if I should go come back to it or do it now and what do you do.